Hello, my name is Sean, and I'll be doing the tutorial on Timekeeper. To start off, we're going to grab all the edge work that is on this bomb. So, four and three. We got a lit MSA and one port plate. Where is it? There it is. One port plate that has a parallel number on it. Our serial number is X-ray 2, 9, X-ray Bravo 6. So, this is it right here. So, Timekeeper will have three different LEDs and a number. Each one will also have randomly generated colors and whatnot. Any colors can be chosen between red, yellow, blue, green, black, or white. So, as Diffuser and Expert, I would give the LEDs in reading order, then give my number, then give the color of the number. So in this case, it would be red, white, red. And then I got six, red. So here's some rules about it. <clears throat> you would start with the display number and just it using the following steps in the order they appear. And this is basically the steps page right here couple rules about it. If at any time you're told which LED you need to click, that is final. You would disregard any further instructions on which LED to click. Whenever you reach an endpoint, marked the red letters end, you would stop following the steps. The number you now have is your final number. All right, seems simple enough. So let's follow each direction first. So starting with the display number, you would add all the letters of the serial number and subtract all the numbers of the serial number. So the letters go from A equals 1, B equals 2, C equals 3, and so on and so forth. So we're going to add the three letters, X-ray, X-ray, and Bravo. So X-ray plus X-ray is 24. That's 48. The 8 plus B, B is 2. So 48 plus 2 is 50. So we're going to take our 6. And we're going to add 50, which gives us 56 and then subtracted for every number on the serial number. So that's 15, 17. So we would subtract it by 17. All right, there we are. Next, if the first LED is white, now this is why I say read the LEDs in reading order, because the LEDs do go in reading order. So the first LED is red in this case because that's the first LED. So it's not white, so there goes that. Next, the second LED and the display number are the same color you have at 22. Otherwise, add 13. So we're going to add 13 to our number. Yes, 52. Add two for every port plate, but subtract nine if there's a DVI-D port. Well, we have, we have one port plate and it has a parallel, so we're going to add two for that. We got 54. If all three LEDs are the same color, the correct LED, well, they're now all the same color, so skipping that. If the display number is red, green, or blue, uh, yes, it's red, and none of the LEDs are yellow, yes, add the display number again. Okay, so we're going to add six again. If the total number of modules is greater than the number of batteries plus the number of battery holders, well, that's going to be seven. Is one module going to be greater than seven? No. Next, uh, just lost it. Okay, if your number is even and greater than 72 divided by two. Uh, no, our current number right now is at 60, so it's not greater than 72. If the second LED is green or black, which it isn't, the correct LED, you need to press the second one. Uh, if your current number, module 23, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna copy 60 right here and I'm going to keep subtracting 23 until we reach a number between 0 and 22. Minus 23. Okay, 14. Current is less than twice the number of ports. So is 14 less than 2? No. We would have ended in that case. Well, keep moving on. Add the numeric value of the month that the bomb was activated on. So our bomb was activated in July. That's the seventh month. So I'm going to take our 60 and add 7 to that. If the display number 
is greater than 23, which it is, add the number of battery holders. So we're going to add number of three. So we're going to add three to that, which is going to be 70. Uh, add two for every lit indicator and subtract three for every unlit indicator. So we're going to add just only one two because we have one lit indicator. So we've got 72 now. If the third LED, the first LED, and the display number are all the same color, yes. So the first, third, and the display number are all the same color. But the second LED is a different color. Yes, it is. The LED you need to press is the third one. So we need to press this one. And look at this. We're at the end. And we're done. So the final number that we got is 72. So what do we do now? Once we have our file number in the LED to click, that is, if we haven't gone LED selected, we will have found these deciding on LED. Once if we didn't have any LED selected and whatnot. So we collect the correct LED when the number of seconds remaining in the bomb is equal to your final number within two seconds or above or below. For example, if your number is 70, clicking anywhere between a minute 8 seconds and a minute 12 seconds left is acceptable. So we need to click this at 72 seconds, which is going to be at a minute 12 seconds. So anywhere from a minute 10 seconds and a minute 14 seconds is all acceptable. However, if the bomb contains a less of seconds remaining than your final number, we would have divided the number by two, rounding down to the nearest whole second. And we continue to do this until your number is less than the total time remaining on the bomb. For example, if my number is 72, well, if our number was over 14 minutes, we would divide 14 minutes, divide it by two, and keep going until we get a suitable number. So if there's 70 and there's only 43 seconds left, clicking at 35, 17, 8, 4, 2, or 1 would be accepted. Note, this module will not like to wait. So if we press an LED with less than 10 seconds remaining in the bomb, we will receive a strike regardless of whether or not the time we press that is acceptable. The module will still be passed, however, if the time you clicked on is acceptable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the time here. So I'll see you all in a little bit. Okay. Hello. Um, so there was an error in my calculations. Apparently I was supposed to multiply by the amount of battery holders, this roll. Because the display number wasn't greater than 23, it was 6. I thought it was talking about the calculation number. So we end up with 203. So uh, that's definitely higher than the amount of time we have left. So we're going to cut that. Divide by 2. Uh, divide this by 2. We'll go around down. So 101 divided by 2. Um, 101 divided by 2. It's going to be 50 seconds. So we got to press the third one at 50, around 50 ish seconds. You can possibly press it at 51, make it a good start there. So here it comes down. 39, 38. 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, and that's a solved module. So keep in mind that sometimes it will say display number here, or it will say your current number, module 23, which is, and there was another one, if your number's even and greater than 72, which is of course also talking about your calculated number. So we'll grab another bomb here. So as expert diffuser type deal, you of course give the LEDs in reading order first. I usually like to do so blue, black, red, then the number, which is 34 and white. So let's also get the edge work here. No batteries. So this is gonna be a lit sig. A lit CLR, three port plates, an empty one. Uh, 
Let's see. RJ and Paolo and Serial. Serial number is eight uniform zero. Yeah, uniform Delta six. Interesting one. So we're going to take our number here, 34, and add for each letter. So we have two U's, so we're going to add uh, 21 plus 21 is 42. Add 42 to that. And uh, D is 4, so we're going to add 4 to that. It's going to give us 80, and then we got minus 14 because 8 plus 0 plus 6 is 14. So we got to subtract by 14. And here's our next number. We're done with rule one. If the first LED is white, nope. The second LED and the display number are the same color, add 22, no. Otherwise, add 13. So we're going to add 13. Let's go 79. Add two for every port plate, but subtract nine if there's a DID port. We have three port plates, so, and no DID port on each one. So that's gonna be two plus, plus, plus two is gonna be six. So we're gonna add six to our number. If all three LEDs are the same color, no. If the display number is red, green, or blue, no. If the total number of modules is greater than the number of batteries plus number of battery holders, which it is, because one is greater than zero, we're going to subtract 18 to our number. So let's subtract 18. This is going to give us 67. Next, if your number is even and greater than 72, nope. If the second LED is green or black, which it is, it is black, the LED you need to press is the second one. So we're done with that one. We don't have to worry about pressing LEDs. If your current number, module 23, is less than twice the half of the number of ports, and so we have uh, 67. We got to keep subtracting 23 until it's between 0 and 22, minus 23. Minus 23. Uh, 21. So is that less than 6, which is 3 times 2? No. So we're going to keep going. Uh, add the numeric month of that bomb that was activated on. So we're still in July, so it's going to be, we're going to add 7. So 67 plus 7. It's going to give us um, 74. If the display number is greater than 23, yep, we would add the number of battery holders. Well, we have no battery holders, so 34 is greater than 23, no battery holders, add 0, nothing happens. Um, then add 2 for every lit indicator and subtract 3 for every unlit indicator. We have 2 lit, so we're going to add 4 to our number. If the third and the first LED and display number are all the same color, no. Uh, if you applied rule nine, so if rule nine is LED is green or black, uh, add 10. So we're going to add 10 to our number because rule nine did apply because nine was if the LED is green or black. Uh, let's see. If your number is at this point less than zero, multiply by negative two. Uh, no. Triple our number. Okay, we got to times it by three. 264. Uh, if by adding up the total number of letters in the name of color of all the three LEDs is greater than 13. All right, so we have four plus five is nine plus three is 12. No. So we don't have to do that. There are no part plates and no. The LED you must press is one. Okay, we don't have to worry about that. So um, add the numeric value of the first letter in all the unlit indicators. If they're not none, multiply it by three again. Okay, we're gonna multiply this by three, giving us 792 and we finally made it. And we got our LED, so we don't have to worry about deciding it. But we are going to have to figure out what our 792 is. So first I'm going to divide this by 60. It's going to give us 13.2. So 
18 times 60 is going to give us 780. So 792 minus 780 is going to give us 12 seconds. So we got to press this around 13 minutes in 12 seconds. Well, would you think you would wait for a minute? Actually, I'll just cut to it. I'll be back in a sec, guys. And we're back. We're about to just press the second LED between 13 and 12 seconds. That's another solved module. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, first explain what the design on LED is. So if your final answer is less than 100, the correct LED is the first one. Otherwise, if the display number is green and the first LED is not green, the correct LED is the first, third one. Always if the three LEDs and display number are all different colors, the correct one is the first one. If there's a parallel port, the correct LED is the second one. Finally, otherwise the correct LED is the third one. So it's pretty straightforward on how that is working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you all the edge work and all the information you're going to need for this. And you can try this out. So I have three and two unlit CLR, lit FR Quebec, uh, one port plate that has RJ, PS2, RCA, serial number is Tango 2 0, Uniform Echo 8. Now for your information on the module. I have green, black, blue, 10, that's a 1 0, green. So, start your little calculations. Showing my answer in three, two, one. So, what I got is 71, which is a minute and 11 seconds. And we're supposed to press the uh, second one, I think. Or the third one. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> I hope all of you enjoyed this tutorial. Oh, speaking on a strike and whatnot, what happens on strike is, well, the number doesn't really change. And none of the LEDs change either. So you're good to go on a strike and nothing else resets. Just something you calculated wrong. So hope all of you enjoyed this. And until then, keep talking and don't explode.